Breck's been asking consistently about having sleepovers. I was so with it for the feet. Oh, whoa! You are? That's my ball. Who's gonna make you a feast at midnight? Mama. Uh, I'm gonna be sleeping. And so, oh, dad, and so dad. that means you better be sleeping too. Dad, dad. Oh, dad, okay, that's fine. You can go wake him up then. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, we are picking up the vlog today. It's supper time. Oh. Breck's been asking consistently about having sleepovers with um, some of the boys next door. Um, <clears throat> I'm not against him being at their house, but I just don't think that he would last all night. I think he'd end up back at our house. So um, I had this idea, hey, let's try doing a sleepover here uh, in your brother's room. It may seem kind of silly um, to some people, but honestly, he was like super excited with the idea. So we're gonna go with it. Um, their plan is to have one of them sleep in um, the other's room and then and then the next night they'll switch. Um, they're still debating who's gonna sleep where tonight on the first night. Um, Atlee. <laughs> I know, you wanna have a sleepover too, but <laughs> she's still in a crib, so that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna take you guys along with us for that tonight. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on everything happening with us, the kids, everything in between, and it helps us out a lot too. I'm so with it for the feet. Oh, whoa! You are? That's my ball. Oh no. Me too! What are you excited for? Sleep over! Sleep over, yeah! Alright, so I think that you should stay in Trig's room tonight. Since you're the big brother and you can show him that it's okay to sleep in someone else's room. And then tomorrow night he can sleep in your room. How do you sleep? Yeah. So tonight, so tonight you can sleep on the blow up bed in his room. But oh, we're behind. But where is it? We gotta find it. But that would take forever. No, I know where it's at. Yeah. And then maybe we'll do a movie and popcorn. But but I wanna eat the popcorn. Okay, you don't have to eat the popcorn. You can just watch a movie. What do you do for a sleepover? Do you know? Have a midnight feast. A midnight feast? I don't think that's part of a sleepover. A midnight feast. Yes, it is. <laughs> Maybe you can have a bedtime snack, like a snack before bedtime. Yeah. Okay. We can do that. Never but once we're asleep, and you're supposed to stay asleep, silly goose. So normally, um, at least lately, Atlee's been going to sleep after the boys because she is just terrible to put to bed if she knows that anybody else is still awake. So um, I'm gonna try my hardest to get her in bed tonight before the boys so that maybe they can stay up a little bit later and do some fun sleepover stuff. Well, you're standing in it then. Yeah, but I have lava shoes. Oh, you have lava shoes? Yeah. Where are my lava shoes? Just eating all the topping off the top. Okay. Yeah. Gotta turn the lights on. This is our third floor. I don't think we've shown this much at all on the vlog. Um, because we're not up here very much. But this, we do have a third floor, kind of like a basement would be in the Midwest. Um, but really, we don't come up here very much because it's like so many stairs for the kids, and usually. We just come up here to find things that are stored. Right now I'm trying to find the a blow up bed, which I know is in here somewhere. I think it's in here somewhere and the extra toys that they have not played with anymore. Oh, here, so this is um toddler size bed. We do have a, right there, we have a bigger like queen size bed, but I think I'm just gonna use this one for now because it's a lot easier to get ready and blow up. So we're 
and I even have a sheet in there for it. Um, good to go. All right, so we got baths done. We're gonna put a movie on and wait for bedtime. This is a toddler bed um, that we got for traveling, like going to hotels and stuff. And it's actually really nice because this insert <clears throat> comes out and then you can like tuck the sheets and um, blankets and stuff around it, which Breck is very particular about having his like blankets tucked in tight. So having it be an insert like this allows for that to happen. So um, Breck's probably getting a little bit big for this bed, but we're just, it's just for one night, so it'll be fine. Whoa! You think you could fit on there for tonight? I, I'm gonna see how it does with me. Why is it not that comfy? <laughs> well, because it's an air bed, honey. It's an air mattress. It's not gonna be as comfy as your bed. So what do you, what should we do? I just want a flat bed. Well honey, it's not going to be flat. It's bumpy like this so that it's supposed to be more comfortable. But no. Okay, we'll try laying down. And I'll put a blanket on you and we'll see, okay? Okay. Not, I don't think that's going to work. Why, just because you don't want to sleep on this? Because it's not comfy enough or what? Not comfy enough. Okay, so this is kind of what I thought was gonna happen. He, <clears throat> he's not fond of the bed situation. It's not comfy enough. Now he wants to try and talk Trig into sleeping in his room, which Trig will probably say fine, but then when bedtime comes, he's gonna wanna go back in his own bed. So I, this, this whole sleepover thing may not even happen, <laughs> but we'll see. We heard? He can just sleep this time. Beside me in my bed. Sweetheart, your bed is not big enough. Yes, it is. I made sure I can sleep the blow up bed. No, he's not. Okay, we'll try. Okay. When we lay down, this is like comfy as his bed. Well, why don't you like it then? That's the one bed. I only want to sleep in my bed. Mm. And trick and sleep in the blow up bed. What are we doing in here, chickies? Busting big guy. The big guy? Yeah, they're watching Nightmare Before Christmas. Trig refers to Jack Skellington as the big guy, right? Uh-huh. Maybe because he's so tall. I don't know. Atley, what are you doing? I'm watching Sally. You're watching Sally? Yeah. Oh, there's Sally. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Are you going to sleep in Breck's room tonight? Mom, um, that was our buggy in the middle. Okay, thank you. I love it. 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 Do you guys love this movie, don't you? I love it. I love it. <laughs> Good job, Abby. So, do you stay in my room over the night? Don't be mean, uh, Atley. She's uh, just she's just feeling your honey. She's just feeling your uh, your your pants. Okay, are they soft, Atley? <laughs> Fuzzy. All right, so I'm moving the bed into Brooke's room now. Um. Like I said, I don't think this is gonna go very far tonight, but we'll go ahead and go through the motions for the boys' sake. Um, we do have bunk beds that we can put together at some point, but not, I mean, they have to be able to sleep in the same room before that happens. So move. I'll go ahead and move Trig's stuff in here and um, bedtime is in about an hour. So see how that goes. 
Can you go get Trig's pillow? Please. Okay. All right, so Trig, you gonna sleep in breakfast room tonight? Uh, okay, I got all your stuff in the bed. And Breck's gonna sleep right next to you in his bed. Are you guys so excited? Yeah. <laughs> all right, this will be fun. Yeah. Okay. All right, get in your bed. I love my new bed. Oh, good. I'm so glad. It's just your size. So you want me to put this blanket down here, right? And cover up with these ones. And here's your turtle. And we'll cover up with these ones. Okay, Boo Boo. And you get in your bed. <laughs> this is your first sleepover in each other's rooms. Getting to be so big. Super first sleepover. Is it so fun? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go turn the light off, okay? Okay. You guys sleep tight. And I will see you in the mornings. I love you both. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> All right, love ya. love ya. All right, so they are both in bed in Breck's room. I do have the monitors still. So, um, so I could technically see them both. Breck was so excited for this, and it's just kind of, um, oh, they're talking to each other now. I don't know, it's just cute to me <laughs> like their first semi sleepover we'll see how trig does tonight and i'll keep you guys updated all right so it's six in the morning and um they everybody is still sleeping i am like so impressed with trig he, they didn't get up once last night um he stayed in breck's room the whole night nobody got up like it helped that they were very tired, but um, yeah, I think that that went a lot better than I had anticipated it going. So um, I'm going to get to making some cinnamon rolls like I had promised them, and um, we'll see uh, how they are feeling when they wake up. Sleepover? Yeah. Trig, you slept all night in their breakfast room. You're so big. I'm so proud of you. We're not going to have our play soup. Play soup? I thought we were having cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls? That's why I'm making cinnamon rolls for breakfast. No. Yeah. Honey, I don't know what you mean you want blaze soup. Do you want cinnamon rolls for breakfast? Mm -hmm. No? I want blaze soup. You want blaze soup. Okay, I gotta yeah. figure out what that is. <laughs> Silly goose. You want soup? Like chicken noodle soup? No, I want blaze soup. You gonna sleep in trig room tonight now? I guess we get a flatter bed. A flatter bed. Did you think that bed was comfy? Mm. Yeah. All right, strawberries and cinnamon rolls and glazed yogurt, which is apparently yogurt with strawberries. Yummy. Yummy. Is that a good sleepover, boys? Yeah. All right. We'll see if we can do it again tonight, okay? Okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna close out this vlog for today. Um, the sleepover, mini faux sleepover was a success. Um, they loved it, and we're gonna try it again tonight. We're gonna see if Breck will sleep in Trig Room tonight. Um, I don't know how that'll go, but make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on everything going on with us, the kids, everything in between, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Say subscribe and give us a thumbs up.
Thumbs up. Subscribe. And give us a and give us a thumbs up. All right. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.